The Lord be with you. I'm Deacon Keith Fournier. And our first reading is taken from the book of the prophet Amos. Yahweh says this, For the three crimes, the four crimes of Israel, I've made my decree and will not relent, because they have sold the upright for silver, and the poor for a pair of sandals, because they have crushed the heads of the weak into the dust, and thrust the rights of the oppressed to one side, father and son sleeping with the same girl, and thus profaning my holy name, lying down beside every altar on clothes acquired as pledges, and drinking the wine of the people they have fined in the house of their God. Yet it was I who destroyed the Amorite before them, he who was as tall as the cedars, as strong as the oaks, I who destroyed his fruit above ground and his roots below. It was I who brought you up from Egypt and for 40 years led you through the desert to take possession of the Amorites' country. Very well, like a cart overloaded with sheaves, I shall crush you where you stand. Flight will be cut off for the swift. The strong will have no chance to exert his strength, nor the warrior be able to save his life. The archer will not stand his ground, the swift of foot will not escape, nor will the horseman save his life. Even the bravest of warriors will jettison his arms and run away that day, declares Yahweh. And our response is taken from Psalm 50. But to the wicked, God says, what right have you to recite my statutes, to take my covenant on your lips, when you detest my teaching and thrust my words behind you? You make friends with a thief as soon as you see one. You feel at home with adulterers. Your conversation is devoted to wickedness and your tongue to inventing lies. You sit there slandering your own brother. You malign your own mother's son. You do this and I say nothing? Do you think that I really like you? I charge you, indict you to your face. Think it out, you who forget God, or I will tear you apart without hope of a rescuer. Honor to me is a sacrifice of thanksgiving. To the upright, I will show God's salvation. A reading from the Holy Gospel, according to St. Matthew. When Jesus saw the crowd all about him, he gave orders to leave for the other side. One of the scribes then came up and said to him, Master, I will follow you wherever you go. And Jesus said, Foxes have holes and the birds of the air have nests. But the Son of Man has nowhere to lay his head. Another man, one of the disciples, said to him, Lord, let me go and bury my father first. But Jesus said, Follow me, and leave the dead to bury their dead. The Gospel of the Lord.